Hello and welcome to Random Sort in Excel. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. All right, in this short video, we're gonna talk about how to sort a list in a random order. And the fastest way to get started is just to head over to Excel. Exercise one. Basically, we have a list of names, we want to sort them in some type of random order. One way to do this is to create a helper column that uses the rand function to generate random numbers. So here's what that looks like. Equals rand, close the function and enter. And that creates a random number between zero and one. What I can do is I can fill this formula down and now I have a list of random numbers that I can use to do the sort. But before we do that, we need to convert these formulas into static values because the RAND function automatically recalculates values like all the time. So one easy way to do this is to do a standard control C copy and then do a paste values. We've converted the formulas into static values. And let me go ahead and undo. And another way to replace these formulas with values is by right clicking this range, taking it somewhere away from itself, and then dropping it right back on itself. And then we get this special right click dialog, which says copy here as values only. So that's another way to replace the formulas with values. Now that we have these static values that are random numbers, we can easily use that as our sort column. So we just head over to data and sort and we got it. So that's one option, and the RAND function has been in Excel forever. So regardless of your version of Excel, this option is definitely going to be available to you. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. In this exercise, we're gonna look at some new-ish functions. So depending on your Excel version and when you're watching this video, you may or may not have access to these new functions, but the new functions are sort by and RAND array. And here's how they work. The RAND array function creates a list of random numbers, and we just tell it how many random numbers we want. And there's some additional arguments as well. But let's just say we want 10 random numbers. That's gonna create an array of random numbers. Now the sort by function sorts a range by a different range. And so what we can do is sort this range by an array of random numbers and enter. And now we've got it. And what if we didn't know exactly how many values were in this range? No problem. We can go with sort by, we wanna sort this range, comma, by the random array. And how many rows do we want? Well, we can just ask the row function to figure out how many rows are in this range. Close the rows function, close rand array, and close sort by and enter. And now we've got it. So those are two different ways to take a list and sort it in a random order. Hopefully this helps. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 